Hey, how's it going? My name's Ruby and let's have a look at what's making news today. Notre Dame is one of the most famous cathedrals in the world, but overnight, Parisians watched as it was engulfed in flames. Firefighters did what they could, but for a lot of the building, it was too late. The city of Paris watched on as one of its most beloved landmarks started burning. Notre Dame caught fire at around 6.30 p.m. And it didn't take long for the blaze to spread, destroying stained glass windows and eventually causing the famous spire to collapse. Notre Dame is a French icon. Around 13 million people visit it each year, more than the Eiffel Tower. It's home to many priceless artefacts and, of course, Quasimodo and his gargoyle friends. While priests manage to save some relics, they're worried that many others will be lost forever. Hundreds of firefighters worked for hours to contain the fire and even managed to save the cathedral's main area. In the streets of Paris, thousands of people watched as the cathedral burned and said prayers. No one was hurt in the fire. While they're not sure how the fire started, French President Emmanuel Macron called it a terrible tragedy and said the country will rebuild Notre Dame together. A team of scientists in Israel has just created an artificial heart using human cells. They did it using 3D printing technology, which is usually used to build stuff out of materials like plastic or metal. So this is a whole new ball game. So this is the first time that the whole heart with the blood vessels and cells is uh, printed. The heart they made is way too small for a person, about the same size as a rabbit's. But experts are hoping it's one step closer to creating hearts for humans. Billie Eilish meeting Justin Bieber is proof that even celebrities get starstruck. Billie's a massive Bieber fan, and at Coachella Music Festival, she got a chance to meet him. Of course, their fans filmed the whole thing and posted it to their socials. They had a big hug and even had a boogie together. The Bells Beach Pro is the longest running surf comp in the world. And for the first time, there's about to be equal prize money given to the men and women who are competing in it. Spending a day out on the water learning tips from your favourite surfers? Yeah, these girls have got it pretty good. They're out here with Rising Tides, a new program from the World Surf League to help young girls move up in the sport. They've come from you know far and wide to, to be down here on the beach with all the girls and, and we just chatted about you know everything from um, just surfing and surfing against boys and, and yeah just going out there and being confident with who you are. These sessions are put on before every major championship event, like this weekend's Bells Beach Pro. And Bells is extra special this year because it's the first time that male and female winners will get the same prize money. To come down here at Bells and have all the men and the women competing alongside each other and just you know, putting on a good show, it, it's really showing that, yeah, we are equal and, and that's the way it should be. Steph reckons it also sends a positive message to the next generation. We're strong, athletic, confident young women and, and we can achieve anything. We just have to go out there and give it a try. Try to keep your footing in our next segment because we are slipping and sliding. What do the Statue of Liberty, the Grinch and this little spaceman have in common? They're all willingly launching themselves into this outdoor pool in literally freezing temperatures. Theoretically, this puddle jumping event is all about sliding across the pool on your skis or snowboard. And some competitors did make it across, but most of them didn't. Jean-Yves Blondeau knows more about slipping and sliding than most. He invented this crazy 32-wheel roller suit. This week, he's been in China showing it off, clocking some impressive speeds on closed-off mountain roads and putting on a show for some curious locals. And this otter was found in a garden in Ireland. Obviously, a backyard is not an ideal place for an otter, so some locals took it back home. It looked pretty pleased to be slipping back into the river again. And that's the show for today, guys. Tell me, have you ever met a celebrity that you were crazy about? And how did you react? 
Or if you haven't, how would you react? Do you think you'd play it a little cooler than Billy did? Let us know in the comments and don't forget to subscribe to our channel.